Hiya! Welcome back to my channel again for another video. Today I am in the kitchen as you can probably tell, but I'm doing something a little bit different to what I've done before. I've done plenty of baking videos before, which I'm sure you would have seen on my channel if you've been following my channel for a little while now, but I haven't done anything quite like this video. So today I'm going to be showing you three healthy breakfast ideas and these are all very simple quick and easy recipes they're also all completely plant-based so everyone and anyone can enjoy them these are definitely my go-to breakfast either when i'm in a rush or just even some of my favorite breakfasts to have so i thought that i would share these recipes with you so that you can also enjoy them too You want to start by taking a coconut yogurt. I use this one called Coco Me Up, which is from my local supermarket, but any coconut yogurt will do. You then want some blueberries or any kind of berries and then some granola. I'm using this homemade almond butter and pumpkin seed granola off of Nourishing Alex's blog. I'll leave a link to the recipe down below. The original recipe called for peanut butter, but I changed it to almond butter. You want to first take a bowl and a good sized handful of blueberries which you'll want to wash. Once they're washed and dried add them to the bowl and then I like to pop these into the microwave for around 30 seconds so that the blueberries release their juices. Next take your coconut yogurt and empty the contents of it into the bowl. Finally, take your granola and sprinkle this on top of the yoghurt. And there you have your very simple, very quick coconut yoghurt bowl complete. For this one you will need a banana, some oats, I use the Quaker oats, almond milk, water, some raisins or sultanas, ground cinnamon and then also some ground nutmeg. Start by taking a bowl and chop half a banana into the bowl. I then like to slice the banana into smaller pieces so that it's easier to mash. Once the banana's cut up, mash it up using the back of a fork. Then set this aside. Next, you want to take some kind of sealable container. I'm using this one which came with the Nutribullet as it has a lid which can close, but you could equally use a mason jar as well. Start by weighing out roughly 50 grams of oats. And then add these to your container. Next, take your ground cinnamon and add a teaspoon of this to the oats followed by a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Then give this a good stir to mix the spices evenly with the oats. Now take your sultanas or raisins and add a small handful of these, ensuring that they're not stuck together. Now add in your mashed banana. You want to add around 125 ml of liquid, so I use around 3 quarters almond milk and then 1 quarter water. Finally give this all a good stir to fully combine all the ingredients, then you want to seal on the lid tightly and then you can pop this in the fridge overnight or for at least a few hours and it will be there ready to have in the morning. buckwheat flour, ground flaxseed, an optional half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then liquid of your choice. You could use a mixture of plant-based milk and water or just water like I am. You want to start by taking a small bowl and add half a tablespoon of ground flaxseed followed by one and a half tablespoons of water. Then give this a good stir and set it aside for a couple of minutes to thicken. Now you want to take a jug and weigh out 35 grams of your buckwheat flour. Next you 
want to add your half a teaspoon of cinnamon if you are using. Followed by 45 mils of liquid. And then also your flax egg. Then give this a good stir with a fork and this will create quite a thick consistency. So if you want to create American style pancakes, then this is the right kind of consistency. However, if you're going for crepes like I am, then keep adding water bit by bit until you reach your desired consistency. Next, heat up a pan over a medium to high heat. I'm using an IKEA pancake pan, which is non-stick. However, if your pan isn't non-stick, you may want to start by adding some coconut oil first to grease the pan. Add around half your mixture to the pan and spread it around, adding more mixture if required. Then set this to cook for a couple of minutes on either side, flipping it over once the edges start to peel away from the pan. to add your toppings I like to use almond butter and I use the Meridian smooth almond butter and banana now add the remaining mixture to the pan to cook up your second pancake again flipping it over once the edges start to peel away from the pan There you have your finished buckwheat pancakes. So those are all of my breakfast recipes that I am going to be sharing with you today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that big thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you give any of these recipes a go or do something similar or adapt some of them down below in the comments or tweet me your pictures or even tag me on Instagram if you have some of these for breakfast. And also be sure to click the little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. Please do let me know what you thought of this video and if you'd like to see future videos like this, for example, maybe doing a healthy snacks idea video, please do let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. Be sure to click the little notifications bell as well, that's down below there too, so that you're notified whenever I upload and I'll be sure to see you on Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye!